Ladies and gentlemen, my name is Total Biscuit, and I'm here to ask and answer one simple question. What the free is Max Gentleman? It is by the men who wear many hats, which is appropriate. Although, one might argue somewhat narcissistic, let's be fair. Let's make a game that is based on the name of our own company. I don't know of huge numbers of companies that have done that. I think it's the men who wear many hats and maybe epic games with epic pinball. That's probably about it. I'm sure there are other examples, but as you can see by that glorious slab of man meat to the west. Yes, west. How very distracting. This is a game about hats and gentlemen. Although not just gentlemen. Gentle persons, gentle animals also evolved involved in this. I would imagine evolved and evolved. Evolved in order to play and be involved. It's an arcade game about stacking hats and avoiding the things which force you to stack less hats. This is the options menu. There's not much to say. You'll probably see why. <laughs> you can change between mouse controls here if you wish, or you can just use the keyboard. I've just been using the keyboard up to this point. It seems to work fairly well. It allows you to change your input device. You've got one and two player options available. Since this does have a local multiplayer. Let's stack some hats. Now this game is free. However, you can go to the store and there are downloadable content packs, which unlock more levels and characters. They're not particularly expensive. You can get the whole lot for $7 at the moment. I imagine it's probably going to be about 10 once the third content pack comes out. But the base game is free, and you can play it and collect most of the hats and most of the characters. So let's play the basic mode for the time being. I'm going to start on score attack right here. I have not unlocked these five other fellows here, but we do have... Max Gentleman. Each of them has their own custom shirt ripping animation, as you can see. Barnabas McManus. Gun Moses. Constable Father Clements. And yes. There you go. It's for pretty much everybody. Everyone's included in this, including corgis, furries, and of course, secret octopi. And bed. There's some crossover there, I feel. We will play with the bear character. All right. Dodgy levels and drinky levels. Yes, they didn't really attempt that much, did they? If you don't have the content patch, the content packs, then you will have access to these two right here. They're they're mo mostly the same, I would say. They just have a slightly different theme in the background. We'll do the dodgy level first. Here we go. And these are the hats that I have unlocked. We will, of course, play with this one because that's the only real one until we unlock the extra top hats, which can be found at the bottom here. Right. The goal is to stack hats. This is a very simple game. Although quite stressful. Alright, let us begin with the stacking. I have a single hat. This hat is able to jump, and I will commit hat larceny. This hat larceny will allow me to increase my hat stack. And that will zoom me out slightly every time in order to allow the stack of hats to become higher. As you can see right here. Now, what I can do is I can make each hat in the stack jump. Which is required in order to avoid losing hats, like that. I need to make the right one jump in order to avoid the birds and various other things that will be flying in my general direction. That was done very, very poorly. Got to get the timing right as well. This is not going especially well at the moment. My selection of hats is limited, unfortunately, but it's okay. We will get there. The villainous birds will sometimes be avoided. You move the hat stack back and forward with the W and S keys, or you can use the mouse, which allows you to precisely select a hat or just kind of do a kind of scrolling thing. But you can see where I'm going with it, right? This is the selected hat that jumps. If I jump too low, then I won't be able to actually avoid the bird at all, and so on and so forth. That's it. I mean, that's pretty much what the games, at least the, the dodging levels, require. The drink levels require you to play against an opponent in which you will be able to try and grab drinks from the bar, which will get you a hat every time, all the while avoiding things thrown in the middle of a bar, well, a, a pub brawl, let's just say. A gentleman's pub brawl. We are almost that max gentleman by the looks of it, but there is this crow that is going to ruin my day here. Oh. Not, not happy. There we go. Maximum hats has been achieved at this time. I have no idea what this is all about, but it's terrible. Why would you ruin my day? The eagle is here. How sad it is. Very simple arcade game, pretty much. With an interesting theme, and now I've lost. <laughs> there we go. 201. That's not very gentlemanly, gentlemanly at all, frankly. Not impressed. Look at that. Look at this. That's extremely crude. Not the sort of thing a gentleman would say. 
Well, there we go. What are the leaderboards looking like? Well, actually, it's just me, so there's that. All right, let's try out the other mode. This is not a difficult game to explain. <laughs> it, it is a free game. It's a hell of a lot of fun and really nicely put together. That's probably all you need to know to go and play it right now, but in the interest of completeness, I will endeavor to show you a little bit more. Let's do the drinky levels here, and we can select a different hat. I don't feel right doing it, but there we go. So in the drinking level, you will attempt to drink, which will allow you to stack hats. And you will drink against somebody else, usually. In, although in this case, for some reason, not. I think, I think it's the challenge levels that make you do that. This is just mere score attacking. So you'll see I'll attempt to grab as many drinks as possible, but I will also be attempting to dodge things that are being thrown at me. Now, if I have any complaints, well, there are two complaints that I've got about the game. The first one is relevant to the drinking level, and the second one is relevant to the dodging level. On the drinking level, well, I mean, it's actually kind of relevant to the drinking level as well, although not as much as on the dodging level. On the drinking level, the background is far too bloody busy, which makes the game a little bit difficult to keep track of as a direct result. It becomes a little easier once you zoom out, because you can see there's this minor zoom every time you gather a hat to allow you to, to fit all the hats on the screen and also to allow the dodging mechanics to work, because they wouldn't. You wouldn't be able to do that if everything remained the same size. There we go. So I can see why they need to do that. But the busy backgrounds are a little bit confusing and strangely enough actually actually give me a bit of motion sickness, which was a little bit unexpected. And I think that's combined with the second issue, which is the zoom out. The zoom out is very jarring. And I feel it has to be done that way in order to do it quickly enough so that it can calculate what the next object is going to fly at you and at what velocity and height it's going to actually go after you at. But simultaneously, I found, and in fact, I do find the game after about 15 minutes to cause me a bit of motion sickness. So I think it's a combination of those two things doing that, which is unfortunate because the game is a lot of fun. It's actually a great deal of fun indeed. And it has a, a decent amount of replayability. It doesn't have a huge amount of levels, but it does have a decent number of challenges. And of course, it has the unlockable hats and characters, which you can pursue if you so desire. Is that a good enough reason to keep playing? Well, it's an arcade game. You know, generally, you're going for score attacks. So if that's not the kind of thing that you're into in the first place, then perhaps you don't want to be playing an arcade score attack game. But the mechanics are really solid. And it's a nicely put together game with an interesting sense of humor. But those are the two main problems that I actually have with it. I would also say that playing it in local multiplayer is a really good idea. It was shown at PAX on an arcade machine, I believe. And I'll show you exactly how the multiplayer works because it's in the challenge mode here. We shall play her. There we go. Go silver challenge. And we can play on the picnic level. And this will be against a computerized opponent. It adds an additional layer into the game because the other opponent is someone you can kind of hide behind. If you so desire, and you're also competing to try and get as many drinks as you can. So I shall uh, compete against Octodad, there we go. And we shall collect our, I assume these are fedoras. How very appropriate. There we go. Now you're able to dash if you want, but of course there's a, there's a big risk that you'll screw that up and run into an object. But you can you can kind of you can get behind them to see whether or not you can maybe make the projectiles hit his stack, and that will cause the projectile to fall out of the air. So it is actually possible to dodge projectiles that way. So it adds an additional layer into the game. But the game has very simple mechanics that are very well executed. The sense of humor is it's reasonable. You know, the stuff in the background is great, but you're going to be so busy dodging and trying to collect hats, the chances are you're probably not going to pay too much attention to all of the insults that are put in the background there. But they, they have a certain commitment to theme, let me put it that way, and I've got to respect that. And thematically, the game probably wouldn't work in any other way, would it? When you think about it, it is a game about collecting hats. How else are you going to do it? Unless, of course, your name happens to be Team Fortress 2. Haridi daridi bloody dar. As the joke has been already made 5,000 times prior to this video coming out. Yeah, it's a decent amount of fun. It's a nice little arcade game. I have a bit of a concern about the business model. Now, you might find this a little bit weird. You think, well, why on earth do you have a concern about the business model? Well, the problem with making games like this free is more often than not, they don't make any sodding money because the content packs are very much optional in a big way. And this is not a multiplayer co-op competitive game that people are going to play hundreds and hundreds and hundreds of hours of. And, uh, and they're not really showing anything else off to anybody either because it doesn't have online multiplayer. 
I always refer back to the sad story of Space Team, a really interesting multiplayer game that was brought out on iOS that adopted a similar model where they refused to charge you really for anything that was super gameplay related. It was just additional options and they got screwed. The guy did that game sold really, really badly. Everyone just picked it up for free and, you know, they didn't bother to actually invest any money in it. And that was that was sad because that game was a really, really interesting idea and I like to play it when we have people over every now and again. That's my concern, is that this game will go down that route. It's entirely possible that it will. Hopefully it doesn't. Whatever the case, it's certainly an entertaining little arcadey romp with many gentlemen and other creatures. It's very inclusive. You can't argue with that. This, however, is not gentlemanly. This is a lie. A foppish lie. Max Gentleman, ladies and gentlemen. That sounds very strange. <laughs> you can find it on Steam for free, and of course the content packs are optional extras. It's also available on Android. It will eventually be on iOS. Apparently it's stuck behind a bunch of whatever the Flappy Bird guys' new game clones are. I don't even know what's going on with that. But it is available on Steam. The superior platform. The gentleman's platform. Hot, hot, of course. I'll see you next time.